What up players, it's Wobots Tay up in this mud and I've got a little update on my Project Dwarves which is uh, now in its overtime since I'm officially finished with it but I did finish the Battle Standard Bearer so um, I tried to do a little bit of the non-metallic metal for the gold and the regular Dwarf Bronze that I have for the rest of the army just to tie that in there but um, still haven't gotten it quite as well as I would like to. I, I like the the border up there on, on this side of the banner looks pretty good, but like I, I'm still working on my technique in them. Uh, as you can see, it's not as fluid as I would like it to be. Uh, it's face played because his nose got all jacked up. Fine cast. And I decided to give him kind of like a snow, uh, snow leopard. It doesn't have spots though. I, I kind of just like the cream, creamy look of the cape, um, the fur trim. But came out really well. I'm kind of glad that. You know, it wasn't as bad as I was afraid it would be. It, it does look kind of bent. So, um, you know, fine cast and all. But that's one half of my uh, update. And for the other, I've got, boom, a completed boar dragon mane. And this guy is really awesome. I used some paint to paint his tattoos to make them look like they're glowing. And like they're giving him protection. I painted up his troll cloak to look like a stone troll from Games Workshop, you know, blue and grays. Um, and also because it, I guess it gives like trolls regeneration and so maybe he's using it for, uh, for that for good luck as well at, and protection as well as the fact that he's a troll slayer. So it's like one of his trophies. And there's some more tattoos, tattoo on his head got a keg of ale on his back, a little baby book of grudges that he carries around with him to record his deeds on, and I like how you get a sense of motion that he's kind of swinging around and these chains with the teeth are kind of like dangling from it, are like swinging with him, so I think it's a great sense of motion that you get from the model. Really great sculpt. Again, Avatars of War, really really awesome stuff. For, for dwarf collectors out there. Um, it's the back of the book. Oh, there's some s scraps I still have to paint. Uh, must have missed those. L like I said, there's so much detail on this model, you know, you get really lost up in it. I decided to paint the jewels and the gems this kind of turquoise blue-ish color. And I'm gonna keep that consistent over all of the dwarf slayers that I have. They all have gems and gemstones. So I'm gonna paint them up in that kind of bluish color kind of matches their tattoos as well and um, I had a great great time painting the tattoos I actually used um, P3 paints for those I used a meridian blue to to base and it's it's very similar to hawk turquoise goes on really nice and easy and then I highlighted up do I have them around me no I don't think I have here I do I do I highlighted up with this arcane blue which is a little bit greener than ice blue and um, it's it's a great highlight for it and finally I just added a little bit of skull white to that to really really at the edges just to show um, a little bit of arcane mystical glow like they're protecting him but like I said the, the model is really fantastic and all the detail on it the expression of his face like all of it when, when he's painted up you really get to see um, a full you really get a full sense of, um, you know, how detailed and how skillful the sculptor was. Like the eyebrows, the, the, the expression of his face is just really, really fantastic. So, thanks for watching. Hope you'll stay tuned. Coming up, some more Astral Claws, some more Dwarves, and some Ogres and Eldar. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.